everybody, Horfade here. Welcome back. Welcome to my new Let's Play. Oh wow, that is loud. Uh, a lot on my end. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> so sad. But next, let's play Solo Turbo Red the Hunter. This is part of the Little Tail Bronx series, just like Tail Concerta was. At least on the DS. Uh, it's a fairly rare game to find, but I did get it for like $20 in Walmart, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I am recording this on an emulator because I don't have a way to capture uh, DS, uh, 3DS footage otherwise, but uh, I do have uh, the, the actual game here, as you'll see it boot up in a moment. So yeah, I do have the actual game here, so don't worry. I also definitely tried to set it up with the Switch Pro Controller, but I was uh, having problems with the Switch Pro Controller on this emulator for some reason. Uh, not just my emulator, the computer. The computer, like, take the Switch Pro Controller and just randomly start doing inputs for some reason. It was so odd. Like, for whatever reason. So very odd. But yeah. Here, uh, hopefully the audio is good. I... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop this, start another recording just to test the audio. Hold on a second. Yep, did a check. Uh, it's uh, all good. It's definitely louder on my end than it is in your end. Oh boy. <laughs> like, you guys have a quieter audio on your end versus me who has it way blasting in my ear a lot louder. <sighs> Anyways, now that it was, uh, we're all done setting this up, let's begin. Once I have to reset the controller, cause god damn it, fuck, I had it right, but I didn't, uh, didn't reset it. Look. Oh yeah, it is set up, what the fuck? Cause it just didn't detect the controller, that was on. Printed by Bandai Namco, or Namco Bandai Games. Why is it reverse? I don't know why. Yeah, so, uh, so Solita Robo here is the first game I heard of about this series. It's what, uh, got me... What, what got me interested in the Little Tail Bronx series in the first place. It's the one I first heard of, and it's the one I think most people, I think, have first heard of. Bringing you the latest news. The Western Shepherd Republic was taken awake by an earthquake early this morning. The Envirus Spectration Division has announced right about that. But this morning's quake may be related to the other simultaneous quakes that have occurred. Okay, now we're getting really close to the target. Sneaking in a car ship to get a file, this better pay well. Well, if you could pull it off. Under my screens are a little off, they might be. I don't know. If? Did you say if? Who do you think you're talking to? Nah, I think it's purposely on his face. I get down to work, there's just no stopping me. Up by CyberConnect 2. Made the first games in the .hack series, which I hear the .hack series is good, but I've never played it. Prologue, Initial Emergence. At least system's all green. Okay, let's do this. Okay, starting countdown. Ten. Five. Uh, what happened to nine? Okay, three, two, one. Okay. Have fun, be careful out there. That sounds like a little audio crackling. I kind of expect a few little errors here and there because of the way that I'm recording this. Hindenburg, Heidenberg, whatever that said. Uh, 
of everything. Were there any hiccups? Uh, just my cat wanting out of the room. Hold on. Forgot to see it in here. I always forget that they're in here. I start recording. Are you hiccups? I say, it was a perfect landing on onto the hidden bird. The client wants us to retrieve a stolen confidential file. It should be a special room deep inside the cargo ship. You know what to do. Uh, read movement tutorial, yes, please. Use the control pad to run and jump at B button. Jump to avoid obstacles and to reach high places. Cool. B button. Okay, Ooh, and there's pause menu, got it. Got it, all right. The way that I have this set up, okay. All right, let's go. Now, what are these boxes? I just had to move them out of my way. Uh, move close to an object and press the A button to grab and lift it. Press the A button again to throw the grabbed item. Oh wow, even these big items. Money rings one, okay. Money rings, got it. Are you sure the shotgun landing didn't damage anything? Huh? You talking about my robot? The the dot the the dikes? Never matter how do you pronounce that. Oh no, shush, just run a check, okay? Open the game menu with the X button. Well, oh, not X here, but <laughs> the view current status. Select what next if you figure out what to do and need to review the current objective. Okay. Got it. Attack, defense, hydraulics, mobility, revive. Stuff, yeah. It definitely seems like a big change from Tail Concern. I mean, this game was released like 10 years, right? After the first one. It closed itself. And it's locked up tight. All we can do is keep going forward. Oh, look out! He must be the intruder. Yeah, it wasn't exactly invited, but you know. Look at her now, I'm crashing this party. Little punk ass smart mouth, huh? The life cage will appear at the bottom left of the touch screen. Take damage and it will decrease. Lose it all and it's game over. Move close to the enemy and press A button to grab and lift them. Grab an enemy with the A button and lift cage will appear. Press the A button to fill the cage and flip the enemy over. Grab the flipped over enemy and throw him to inflict damage. You can also damage two enemies at once by throwing one to another. Make sense? Experience, oh, okay, yeah, experience, level up, interesting. Max life up. If you don't an experience, earn enough and you'll level up. Level up and your maximum life increase small amount. Next, at the bottom right side, the top screen shows the points needed to go up and level. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> don't think we cur curvaz are gonna forget this. Curvaz? Did you say curvaz? Wow, I sure like to avoid getting caught up in a fight with a big guild like them. Okay, I'm seeing how this works. Red, heads up at 3 o'clock. No way, a Curvaz battle cruiser? Captain, just a deep telegram from the Hindenburg. Not in true sight, this time it's some guy in a robot. <laughs> what? You, you mean that buffoon over there? Hello, ladies. If you want a piece of this tail, come and get it. What are you doing? Cut it out. Don't anger them. Oh, they're all bark. What are they going to do? Shoot me or something? Shoot them! Fire! No way. Yeah, what did you think they were going to do? They fired. They actually fired. They got to be crazy. Grab missiles and are flying out. Just the button and throw them back. Got it. I will grab the bird and throw that back. All right, yeah, pretty simple. Oh, now I'm angry. I am furious. Via, via, blow him away. Can Grum stop the man shooting at the enemy? What's more, two lost ships in the line of duty. Now, via. Ah, Curry, no choice but to train the idiot uh, captain. 
What are you doing? Get your mutinous paws away from me! Looks like Kerv Kerr has after paws, just like me. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> uh. Is there a north and a room left? Okay. That's the engine room. The lift is down, I can't get across. There should be a switch nearby. Get off your robot and search for it. Press the Y button to get on and off your robot. Target the item you want to search and press the A button. Hold on, while we're here, I'm gonna... Alright, just gonna have to deal with the normal sound with the weird sounds that sound a little off to me, whatever. Target the item you want to search and press the A button. I right when I was fucking with that. You can find items by searching sparkling areas. Sparkling areas will only start to sparkle when you get close to them. Great, the lift's working. Now we can get going. Not leave it alone. Get off the hook. Okay. I can only enter it. Okay, only enter it here is not a robot. Money, 300 rings. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we can actually get off the robot just voluntarily this time. Okay. Collecting me will restore some of your life. Me can sometimes be found by destroying variables. Use the lift to go down. The room should be somewhere down there. Got it. Wrong button. Alright, let's go. Heard we have a feline that goes sneaking around. You a leader? Cool. Leader? Whatever. Get out of my way. After an enemy doesn't attack, look for an opening to grab that enemy. An enemy is flipped over and falling. Combo ring this round enemy. Cut the enemy in midair and throw again to perform a combo. Throw enemies while jumping for a more powerful combo. Okay. That was not the right button. That was not the jump button. Well, my brain's got to remember that the jump button is uh, not what I would expect it to be. Oh, five. There we go. Okay, I'm getting how this works. Okay. Did you wait till I get out of the hospital? <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one that guess this party. I think you said it was a phenolon ago, right? Has someone got here before us? Well, I better get to loot first. Alright. Alright, once I get the combat down, I think it'll be fine. It's gonna take some practice. Fur balls, there's no way across. Hey, look, there's a door over there. You have to go down this ladder. Ladders can only be used after getting off your robot. Use the. Okay. Only auto when we get off the robot. That's fine. Bum bum. Intruder, I thought you'd come through here. Oh. I had an ambush. You're not equipped to fight without your robot. Avoid that enemy and find a way to the door. When not running your robot, press the A button and use a stun gun. The stun gun will stop enemies in place, but not cause any damage. Got it. So yeah, I really gotta get used to the buttons. The jump button is not where I would expect it to be, and I basically mimicked what it would be on the, the DS. It's just... 
It's a whole lot buns. Which one do you think it is? Why don't you just try fussing around with all of them? Yeah, it's a great idea. Now you can cross. Alright, let's get a move on. No time to lose. Alright, I, I get how it's going. Battle? I'm not sure. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, you can't reach me out here. <laughs> Hey, you said it was this way and look at the dead end. But there was supposed to. There, look at the floor. Oh, I know, I've seen a switch like this one before. So what now? Uh, it turns on when you put something heavy on it, so. So I think something heavy, like your robot or a container, will onto the switch will turn on. There's gonna be puzzles where we're gonna have to abandon the robot in order to get to it. Press the A button to put down a lifted object. There you go, it's open. No. Found a jump. Oh, what the? You can dash by jumping twice. Like, just quickly in succession pressing the jump button. Not good, it's starting to get dark. I'll try picking you up if I can't see. Hurry. It has to move faster. Press the B button twice. I just figured that out on my own. Fine. Uh, save point? What's this thing? It's a save point. You just save your progress. Save point can be used save. Yes, it says okay. When you start and play, you'll start from the last place you saved. So you can save point and also fully recover your life. Nice. Save. Got it. Cool. It's actually the place. There's definitely something here. And no sign of anybody. I think you may be here first. I'll speak to you soon. So you find the combat will follow. Let's get to it. What'd you find? None. Just a note full of numbers. That's gotta be it. It should be a memo of cash transactions. Well, then this should come. It's in my hands now. So, where's all that bonus loot you mentioned earlier? I guess they had all, you know? Right, you see that wall? It reminds me of a door in the other room. You think it can be open too? Maybe, but that would mean somewhere around here should be. There, it's the same switch as before. But there aren't any containers in here. Isn't there something else that's heavy that can be used? That did it. What's that in there? I'll check it out. I'm thinking losers weepers. I'm taking it. A medallion and even fancier than its casing. Well, what's that like? What's going on? We... why did we touch it? We got what we came for and we touched the thing. We got what we came for and yet we touched the thing. Whoa, this ship has a fa- Oh my god, not a giant again! Another giant. Oh, that was from the last game. Oh my god. Oh, medallion is a thing for activating the giant. Is that just like the gems in the last game? Talk to me. What is going on? I don't know. Just get out of there. Roger that. What? What the heck is this? I don't know, I've never seen anything like it before. I'll take good luck, because it isn't going to be here much longer. Ready? Fight! Oh, 
cow. I'll get used to it eventually. Get out of here. This guy is completely just. Oh, there's more. Come on. Just keep throwing them against each other. It's working just fine. Level up! I'm gonna have to get used to jumping first before grabbing them. Get out of there quick! The ship's losing altitude real fast. I'm on it! <sighs> Red, hurry! I move. What the? An unconscious kid? What are you doing? Get out of there! Save the kid or leave the kid. Could die? Kid might be dead already. Red! Ah, oh, furballs. Hey! You hear me? Hang in there. And thus, by chance, the two met, or so it seemed. Time had yet to reveal that their encounter had been fated. Ooh. Oh, intro! Yay! Yeah, I know uh, Dale Concerno's intro had a song that was only in the Japanese version. It's good to actually hear like, the goddamn intro song this time. Solitaro, a red the hunter. To be continued. Oh, was that the prologue? <laughs> Shit, I guess that was the prologue. Don't, is it, it's, is it gonna automatically take me to... Hold on. Asmodeus Bridge. Ugh, that's a lot more than we bargained for, huh? Seriously, I didn't think I'd make it out alive. I wonder what that huge monster was that I thought cargo ship. A huge monster, those small black things, I have no idea. Now about that kid you saved. a little weird because I know how it was designed for DS and how there's that thing in the middle of the DS that's all yeah that's a split but still <laughs> could he be the one who snuck onto the Hinemer before us? Probably. Well I'm just glad neither of you are pally here. Hey <laughs> yeah. If yeah, Rodius took a beating though let's do a quick checkup. We'll start here the bridge. It's like save here to record the progress of our adventure. You can also use next destination to pick where to visit next. We'll go to the cabin next. The kid's sleeping, so be quiet. This is the cabin. The audio and theater here let you enjoy music or movies. There's also stuff to read and look at in the album and library. Yeah, I mean, there will be stuff. You haven't got anything yet. And that's about it. Looks like a ship is in good shape. We better get going soon. We need to report to our client, Quebec. Like the country of Quebec? Is Quebec a country? I think. Or like. I think it's a country, right? <laughs> I'm not. Uh, listen, I'm not good at geography. Pick next destination from the bridge and we're off to Airedale. I see. Okay. 
didn't save the game. All right, then. Well, I think that might have been the prologue since it did end and say to be continued. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, probably do short parts on it. I don't know how long I'll do parts, how long each part and whatnot will be for, but still, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely an interesting start to this game. Definitely, I know this was just get through tutorial, figure out my damn settings <laughs> and whatnot, but I think now that we're past the basic tutorial and whatnot, I think that will will be good to like really continue on. I think the game, I like it's always the tutorials that are always the slow part of the games, and then it's like okay. We got past the base tutorial. I'm sure there'll be more tutorials up ahead, but I'm sure like it'll be fine and whatnot, and we'll be good. So I'm definitely enjoying this so far. It's just gonna take a bit for me to get used to the controls. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Uh, or I am quite excited to continue this game. It definitely is starting off like the story has me intrigued for sure. So yeah. Uh, hope you have a good day, and yeah.